want to say my Puma. Puma, Puma, Puma. Hey, let's go. Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy Sully. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, like this video, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so as you saw in the intro of this video, my son was pretty excited about the Sandlot. Dude loves the Sandlot, everything about the Sandlot. Today, I'm gonna make him a Sandlot Boomer. I'm gonna take characteristics from the Sandlot, put them into the Boom drawing. The reason why I'm doing this is because I made an art piece for my wife for her office. And my little boy saw it, he wasn't too happy about it. Hopefully he likes it. Stay tuned to the end, I'll show the reveal. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna finish up Boom and get all of his attributes together. And now that Boom is finished, we're gonna go ahead and start sketching iconic pieces from the Sandlot movie into our drawing. Notice I'm not using a pencil to do the sketch. I'm actually using a fine liner. The reason I'm doing this is because I like the way the fine liner looks when you color it in after. It gives it that rustic feel. Still gives it that sketch look. Hey, you want a s'more? S'more what? No, no, you want a s'more. I haven't had anything yet. So how can I have some more of nothing? You're killing me, Smalls. Now I am using a pencil right here because I have to be able to erase the circle that's on Boomer. Now for the fun part, actually drawing the Beast, the most infamous character from the Sandlot. We all went because, well, because Wendy Peppercorn was the lifeguard. Now that the sketch is all done, let's color this bad boy. So for this drawing, I'm gonna use alcohol markers and later on I'm gonna fill everything in with acrylic paint. And as you can tell, this marker's all jacked up because the kids got to it, but we move on. If you're wondering what type of markers I'm using, I'm using the cheapest alcohol markers you can buy on Amazon. I don't even know the name. I don't even know they have a name. So the movie The Sandlot actually takes place in like the 50s or 60s. And they were known to have these striped shirts and blue jeans with the cuffs rolled up. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm going to color Boomer in with that. For those of you not familiar with The Sandlot movie, Squints wore these big thick frame glasses. So we're going to go ahead and put them on Boomer. And of course you can't have The Sandlot without the, the Babe Ruth baseball that got Smalls into the biggest pickle of his life. Even when Benny brought out the secret weapon, shoes guaranteed to make a kid run faster and jump higher. PF Flyers. Can't let him do this, man. So in the Sandlot, Benny actually put on these PF Flyers to pickle the beast to get the Babe Ruth baseball back. Just to give it a fine touch, I went ahead and colored in the speakers with a gold metallic paint marker. All right, man, that's enough talking. Let's go ahead and finish this thing.
present. It's under that uh that towel right there. Pick it up. What you think? How do you frame it? You like it? What do you think? You like it? Let's put it in the room and let's go! This is Mr. Myrtle's house. That's a baseball that was signed by Babe Ruth. And this hat is for smalls and that shirt is for um um what's it called again? Hey um and that's gold for the speakers. And then there's dots for Who, whose glasses are those? Squint's Pelladors! And that's his hat. Squint's Pelladors hat. Who's that who's that lifeguard? One day Peppercorn. And that's Squint again. And what kind of shoes are those? What shoes? Oh, this. What they make you do? Jump potter and jump and go faster, I mean. Yeah, and what's that on the uh, boomer's feet? Jaws! I mean, good time! <laughs> they keep the best. Awesome, dude. I'm glad you love it. And there's the hat, and there's the beast that that would pickle um smalls. Mm -hmm. You got him on the pickles, the biggest pickle. And this is already framed. This thing is already framed. Bye!